Welcome, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for this NBA presentation. This is Kevin Harlan. I'm joined by Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And David Aldridge will be reporting from the sideline. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And there are two big men out there, Mobley and Allen. At the guard position, it's Garland and Mitchell. And it's Struess in at the three, the small forward. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Tatum out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the point. Tonight, we've got two terrific teams from the East. This game, Greg, has been circled on the calendar for a while. And Kevin, this is going to be a fantastic matchup. It could be a preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. These teams are that good. Tatum no good. Garland against Holiday. Let's it go from 14. Here's Mobley. And he drops in the layup Kevin off the glass. Mobley. When you're guarding Mobley, you have to finish the possession on D. Seal him off. Or Evan, look, this man's going to punish you on that glass. Tatum. Yes, Tatum. and it's Holiday with the assist that time. He just From makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Now, here's Garland. We saw him with 19 points his last outing. Back to Struess. Shot clock at five. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Brown against Garland. Goes up on the wing. Rebounded by Allen. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. And you look at the Cavs trade. Jared Allen. That was a steal. Yeah, it was part of a massive four-team deal sending James Harden to Brooklyn. The Cavs got Allen giving up just a late first and second round pick. Highway robbery for an all-star. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Richard, the Cavs went all in for Donovan Mitchell, but it has paid off well. It's crazy what Donovan Mitchell can do at only six foot one. He has so much bounce and so strong, but he is still undersized for the position. But that front court, man, that defense helps him out a lot. Oh, Richard, the Celtics, an excellent defensive team. Very disciplined. Yeah, you don't see them gamble for a lot of steals. They do a great job of just staying connected and challenging shots without foul. Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And here's Brown outside. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. Yeah, in their last time out against this club, turnovers really did them in. Just way too many mistakes. And they have to clean that up. Play smart and value the ball. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You gotta focus on the details. Count it. Savvy play for Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Holiday against Garland. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. And because he can score from all over the floor, Porzingis can find space inside. That's not the case for most seven-footers. The Celtics have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. White, good. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity. One deep. The Cavaliers trail by three. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. And they cash in right away with the quick shot. Boston is gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Porzingis finds Holiday. Brown. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game play. You guys, you just can't afford to give away points 
from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Oh, that is well said. They're being handed free points and just couldn't convert. Now, here's Garland. His numbers are looking pretty good. He's got his scoring average up around 18 and a half points a game. Garland looking for a high percentage shot. Garland wants the best look he can get. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down hard. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop. He's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Chalk up two there. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got six points. Mitchell is so efficient and crafty inside that paint. Sometimes you forget he's only 6'2". To the middle, here's White. His shot is good, there making him a perfect two for two from the floor. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Now, here's Garland. Mitchell outside. Nailed from three-point land. He's got nine. That's cash. Mitchell is a volume two point shooter for a reason now. Porzingis finds Holiday, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. So Richard with the Cavs. There were bumps in the road after four straight trips to the finals a few years ago, clearly. Yeah, and that's to be expected after losing LeBron. They had to reset most of the roster, but they've done a nice job of building the team back with Darius Garland, Evan Mobley. It has been very, very impressive watching them work. And the first one at the line is good. These two teams are scheduled, Richard, to meet twice in a row, this being the first of those two. A chance to get very familiar with one another. I love these kind of mini playoff series you get in a season. It's a good opportunity to get some intel on your opponent. The Cavaliers making a switch here. George Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Wade comes in for Mobley. Akoro's checked in for Max Struess. And Karis LeVert subbed in for Garland. Now, here's Mitchell. Nine points in the game so far. Shoots. Rebound, Boston. They say it's a make or miss league, and there are some times that you, you miss. The kick out to Holiday. Back to Orphan. Over Wade. And it's Wade with the rebound. And so, LaVert will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Celtic foul. Trailing by two. The later we get in the season, the hotter these teams have gotten. They're shooting leaders since the All-Star break in the NBA. Number one, the Celtics. No doubt their offense has really hit its stride. I mean, they're making the extra pass and not settling for that first shot that presents itself. And you see that in their shooting percentage. First one falls. RJ, when we talk about the Boston Celtics, they've transformed into a real heavyweight out east. Oh, they are a dominant team out east. One of the dominant teams in this league. Look, they have so much young talent and talent that they drafted and developed. This group, their only job is to contend for championships. Pritchard passes to Hauser from the baseline. Nice touch on the back jump there. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's Lavert. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. And Holiday kicks to Horford. Goes up from the top of the key. They get the rebound. And the rebound yeah, paying yeah. off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. That's a blue collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put it in the work. Got a second chance to score. Mitchell passes to Niang. And he lobs it up toward the rim. A Jordan. solid passer at his position. Levert excels at finding his teammates when they're open. It's tipped. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Wade outside. And Boston with the rebound. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, and in that one, they caused a lot of misfires. 
with their intensity on the defensive end. They were hustling to get in front of every play they could, always getting a hand in the shooter's face. No good on that one. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Celtics out in front. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. the second quarter fairly close game so far all right well I'll look at how the points have been generated so far scoring breakdown for the Celtics the ball movement has been outstanding so far they've come out of the gate looking for that extra pass and on top of that they've been asserting themselves offensively getting a good chunk of their points from inside the wing pairing it's white and brown Chris Stapps Przingis is out there with Jason Tatum and it's Pritchard in at the point. Yeah, That's really the Boston Marlin. Five. Three. He doesn't waste any time right there thinking about it. Garland gets that hot pass and he moves. And Darius Garland, no oh, doubt, a point guard on the right. Yeah, I think this guy's future is really promising. And it's because of his strong work ethic, his desire to keep working on his game and get back. And then Allen slams it in. When you combine his length Darius and leaping Marlin. ability, Allen is a ridiculous lob threat. The Celtics working the ball around now. White, and it's Boston with another. Yeah, and we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Now, here's Garland. He's got seven. Count it. Garland's got nine. Pretty savvy move there by Garland, making space with that pick and roll. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Jared Allen is earning his keep in the painted area. He said from a young age that was instilled in me. The footwork is a big back to the basket. I'm trying to find it in the flow of the offense. I don't want to disrupt this to where I'm getting in people's way. I just want to find my spot. Kevin. And he does it well. D.A., thank you. Now here's Tatum. Against Golden State, he was really on his game. See, this is what makes him complete. Tatum doesn't settle. Puts the ball on the floor, uses his length to finish. Here's Garland. They trail by one. Shoots from 12. And he hits the jump shot. Garland. He's got 11. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. So the Celtics called timeout their first. And Greg, we still see players embellishing contact. Is enough being done to discourage those creative flourishes? We're talking about flopping, right? I mean, we're seeing the league experiment assessing a technical free throw. It's necessary or guys will keep jerking their heads and falling down and watch the ball. So I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. At the line. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. The story so far has been their mid-range shooting. The analytics might not like it, but elite offenses still knock it down from that area. And also have to bring up their passing game. They've been moving the ball with great precision so far and creating great looks for their teammates. He's perfect from the line this time. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Now, Garland. 11 points in the game. Here's a Coro. The wide open look here for Garland. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. He's just got it on automatic right now, shooting 100%. And that'll keep your confidence up. That one falls. Okay, okay, listen. Tatum can strike from anywhere. The mid-range is an open option for him at all times. Here's Mobley. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Porzingis with the block. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Garland. 
Brown the pass to White. There's the triple. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. It must be nice to have a seven-footer like Mobley that you can just throw pretty much anything out there and he'll go get it. That bucket in in no time at all. Brown's got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. Garland dishes to Okoro. And it's off the back rim. No good. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Stolen by Okoro. Here's Garland. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. I thought he had that all sewn up, but somehow the defense just threw him off. And it's Drews missing. The Celtics have gone six and nine in the second quarter. Some good work from the field. The putback. Two minutes. Evan Mobley with the rebound. Two minutes. And here is Drews. Scoreless thus far. Mobley outside, six to shoot, and here's Carlin for three, and Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got six rebounds now in the game. RJ, a guy who will completely take over a game, Jason Tatum. Yeah, he's got a deep bag. He's got an incredible talent, and every year he works to add to it. Now, here's Garland. He's got 15. Kicks to Mobley. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. That ties the game. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. As Evan Mobley's game continues to evolve and develop, Richard, he could be a real monster down low. He is something else defensively. Yeah, he's special defensively. And on the offense, he has so much room for growth. If he can learn how to dominate the paint, then he will be an unstoppable two-way force. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Tillman's checked in, and it's more fun for Jason Tatum. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. George Niang, he's checked in for Jared Allen. Wade comes in for Mobley. Karis LeVert's checked in for Max Drews. And it's Mitchell in for Garland. Now here's LeVert. Still scoreless. Shoots over White. And it's LeVert missing. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. The Cavaliers trailing. And there's the pass to Okoro. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Shots good by Mitchell. Mitchell. You see how smoothly Mitchell gets into his shot. That's elite. The Celtics have gone 7 to 13 for the field since the start of the second. And White kicks to Horford. Holiday against Mitchell. Three pointer. The shot by Holiday, no good. Lavert with it. Got it off in time. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go yet. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. 38. And here's something you The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel. That's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big time action so far in this. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. They led by two after the first. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? I like what they've done on the glass. Boxing out, reacting quickly, playing with an aggressive attitude. They set a physical tone, but now everyone gets a chance to recalibrate. We'll see if this rebounding dominance can extend into the second half. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? This kind of defense won't cut it. You have to put yourself in position to contest shots. This means making the right reads and putting forth the effort. 
They've done neither, and their opponent is taking advantage. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. We're seeing a tremendous game here, guys, from Darius Garland. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. On the court for Cleveland, at the guard positions, it's Garland and Mitchell. And at the forward positions, Okoro and Mobley. And it's Allen in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The Celtics shooting an efficient 53% from the field. And Okoro pulls it down. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. There's Garland. And that one's drained from the low block. Garland. Garland's got the lead up to two now for the Cavs. Here are the Celtics with the ball. And here's Tatum for three. Jared Allen grabs the miss. And so it's Cleveland with it. Garland the pass to Okoro. Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. Back to White. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his sixth assist on the night. Cavaliers have gone one of three since starting the second half. It's deflected and stolen by Tatum. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Goes up the baseline. And it's White missing. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Got to pick it up. Okoro passes to Allen. And it's sent back by White. We have Perfect seen Allen power. look more for his yeah, offense yeah. over the years, which in turn draws the D's attention. The Cavaliers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws Line of the game. The Cavaliers, Jarrett Allen, two shots. That free throw, no good. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paint. He is a rare breed. Max Cruz has checked in for Cleveland. And he can't make the second free throw either. Listen, both. Stolen by Garland. On the wing, Mitchell. He's covered by Brown. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And the call is going to be... Yes, yes it is. An illegal screen. Now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Donovan Mitchell. And guys, it hasn't been pretty for him in the past five games. He's having one of those scoring slumps that all players go through at some point in the season. But I know he hadn't lost his confidence, and I expect this young man to get after it here tonight. Spruce against Brown. Now, here's Garland. He's guarded closely. Lock at six. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. That one goes. Count it. And this is the energy that Garland brings. The type of teammate that's willing to go after that offensive glass and get dirty. Tatum, that's for two. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his seventh assist in the game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. No doubt, Greg. Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old.
Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Hauser's checked in, and it's Pritchard in for Derek White. The Celtics have gone two or five, shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Tatum. A miss that time would have put him up. And so it's Gerland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Just four points. That's all they've given up here in the second half. And it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this developing into a skilled playmaker. Here's Pritchard. And he banks in the lane. Pritchard's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. For Cleveland, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Holiday against Mitchell. Passes it to Allen. On the wing, Mitchell. He's got 11. Porzingis with the block. And they get it back. They get it back. Here's Allen. And they double up Allen. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's Boston now. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. To the paint. Wide open look. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Mitchell. Garland's got 21 in the game. And right now, Garland has it stuck on automatic. This man, he's getting whatever shot he wants. Tatum, no good. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Eh, look, sometimes that's how it goes. Outside Garland. Steps back and drains the jump shot. Garland's got the lead up to two now for the Cavs. I really like that shot from Garland. Teams will give up the mid-range these days. So, look, why not shoot it and make it? Tatum, no good. And with his team trying to trim this margin, his struggles this quarter, eh, they're not helping things. Now, here's Garland. He's got 23. Allen outside. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Over Holiday. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of blue room. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. First team foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He's been doing really nice work at the line. 83%. And that one falls for Tatum. What strikes me about Jason Tatum is really his versatility. He's got any move for any situation that you throw at him. His moves have moves. His counters have counters. That is a man that can finish plays or make them. And the Celtics making a change here. Horford's checked in. Then for the Cavaliers, George Niang, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. Dean Wade comes in for Max Drews. And Karis Levert subbed in for Mitchell. Here's Allen. Porzingis with the block. For Boston, they've gone somewhat so far, 4 of 10, on their shots in the second half so far. An elite distributor for a big man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. 24 seconds left to play in the third. Now, Garland. on the clock shoots it can't get the bucket from 20 feet up tie game in Boston and do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next and now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game and the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. 
I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure packed basketball. The wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Then there's Horford. Then it's Holiday. And it's Tillman in at the center position. That's the Boston Five. Now, here's Garland following the miss by Al Horford. That pass Allen. into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. Boston trailing. It's White on the wing. Avert defending. Here's Tillman. And that one is off. Well, Cleveland shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Garland against Holiday. Garland, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. This is why he's out there in situations like this. He stands tall to prevent points. From stretches the floor nicely for a big, versatile. Horford's become a perennial all-star. And the Cavaliers call time here. Richard, you know, some guys just seem to improve with age. And Al Horford is one of them. Yeah, kind of like Brooke Lopez. Horford's become such an excellent three-point shooter. Keeps himself in top condition, and everyone around him is better at both ends. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Evan Mobley's checked in for Allen. Max Cruz comes in for Dean Wade. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Garland. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Hey, Kevin, thanks. During that last break, I listened in to J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. With the game in the balance, coach was calm in the huddle. His main message, execution. Told his team to make sure to remember what they talked about during shoot-around. We've got a great ending in store, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Able to absorb contact. Holiday is not someone that is prone to lose focus on these tough takes. Here's Levert. And it's blocked. They recover. Celtics foul. Turn First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for. We talked about the guys who play bigger than their listed size, and Donovan Mitchell is at the top of that list. Mitchell drops them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Back to Holiday. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Holiday against Mitchell. Pulls it up. And another miss by Cleveland. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold stream. Yeah, right. <laughs> right now, he's just in his own head. Not much you can do to try and push through it. Here's Mitchell following the basket by Derek White. Pass to the end. He kicks it to Mitchell. Rebounded by the Celtics. Horford's got his fourth rebound in this one. How about this run, Craig? They're on right now. Wow. I mean, they're just getting to their spots and executing. Really keeping things simple. Oh, uh, getting the hoop and the harm. That's tremendous body control from Brown. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Their offense has been a well oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And also, they took advantage of their quickness, got inside, and blew through the open lanes. Great job of attacking the paint. 
surely one of the top players in the NBA. But Jalen Brown has many other interests outside of basketball. Yeah, he likes to keep those brain muscles just as in shape as he is. He spends a lot of time playing piano, chess, doing yoga, and breathing to keep himself sharp. Count that one. Brown's got the lead up to four now for the Celtics. Oh, fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Holds it up there for Mobley, and Mobley throws it down. Wow, you can see Mobley just growing over time, accepting these responsibilities in this big moment. From down low, and another basket for Boston. There you go, JB. I love his confidence. One of his strongest traits. And the Cavaliers call time here. Here they come. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. Three stops, Porzingis. And guys, it's been a rugged brand of defense he's played. Uh, I don't know why they keep taking the ball at him. It, it, it seems like every time they have, he's come up with the rejection. And with every block, he's only gotten more and more fired up. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Mitchell against White. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Left side Tatum. Porzingis gets a two. The Cavaliers pull it in. Mobley's got six rebounds here tonight. 11 feet away. And it's Mitchell missing. Nothing is going his way in this half offensively. Really having a hard time finding his shot. And for the power forward, he can sure get on all I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Mitchell. Light covering. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold. Like, freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. Here's Mitchell following the basket by Jalen Brown. Picks it out to Garland. Good. It's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got his third assist on the night. Brown inside. Guarded by Garland. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got 10 points here in the second half. Mitchell against White. Mitchell outside. And here is Garland. Five to shoot over Holiday. And that one hits back iron. They're in good position here to ride it out. Uh, certainly, if they just play smart, this game's over. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Pass to Mobley for three. It falls! Evan and Mobley. now they trail by three just points. four. Showing poise in the clutch. Mobley has that quiet confidence. And he commits the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Second team foul. There's 39 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's White. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're trailing by seven. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. How about that? Give it up for Celtics Entertainment. Allen passes to Mitchell. Lined up there for Allen. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Brown inside the line. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And now it's a nine-point Celtic lead. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. So 
it's the Celtics picking up the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thank you, Kevin. KP, you guys got out on the break tonight. How did you get into transition so easily? Uh, yeah, we want to play faster, and that's what we try to do whenever they miss. We try to run, move the ball quick, and get easy buckets. And you were able to beat them down the floor tonight, KP. Thanks a lot for your time. Kevin, back to you. Thank you for that, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. So long, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.